Shalom, the wedding of all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Raka Kadash, the Belana Study Elders in the Apostle of GMS, and salutations to the brothers who's pushing the truth out to the four corners of the highways and byways, the hopeful elect. You know, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, and his brother Yashamar here with another lesson. Right, um, one entitled it Baptism. It's like you're baptized into the death of Yahweh Shai, right? When we baptize into the death of Yahweh Shai, meaning we no longer serve this world nor the things of the world, we no longer serve this flesh, you know, I mean the spirit. But let's get into it, you know. This is Romans chapter 6 and verse 1. It says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? That grace may abound. Verse 2. Yahweh forbid. How shall we that are dead in sin live any longer therein? Right? So we dead to sin. No, we can live in there any, any longer. Going on. Know ye not that as that so many of us were baptized into Yahweh Shia Mashiach were baptized into his death right we were baptized into his death right we um Yahweh Shai was also uh, you know resurrected we he, he lived not by the um the, the, the flesh the things the, the, the world no right verse 4 it says wherefore we are buried with him by baptism into death that like as Amashia was raised up from the dead by the glory of the father even so we also shall walk in newness of life right we shall walk in the union of life. Let's get a precept. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. It says, Therefore, if any man be in Amashiach, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Right, all things are become new. Romans seven, and verse six, it says, "But now we are delivered from the law." Right, that being dead, wherein we were held, that we should serve in newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the letter right so it says the oldness of the letter took us um also the yahushua you remember he also is the is the one that ushering the um you know the the new covenant right you're not serving yahweh by the flesh but we serve him by the spirit you know yahweh yahushua right so we are dead we are then um, to sin, being baptized in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, meaning we come into the um, knowledge, we being made new, right? Newness of spirit, you know. Let's jump at verse 21. It says, I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present right the apostle uh, Paul breaking it down here right verse 22 for I delight in the law after the inward man right the inward man which would which would obviously um be that um new creature right me and be that that man was, that was baptized you know Be baptized because 
this flesh here is all is all for the um is all for this world right going on but i see another law in my members meaning his body warring against warring against the law of my mind bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members which exactly which was um you know put to death right we put this to death accepting yahweh shai you know going on i said oh wretched man that i am the word wretched goes to him um, like you know miserable right a man who serve yahweh bashim or shaykh would only be miserable in this flesh because he got the understanding and the wisdom right he's he, he's awakened you know in yahweh shaykh mashiach that this flesh here really is um is is, is like a thorn you know, it, 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 it's something that would trans transgress you how about Shimmy of Shai. You know? Oh, you get it. Right? Oh wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Right? Verse 25. I thank Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, Amashiach, our Lord. So then with the mind I myself serve the law of Yahweh. But by, but with the flesh, the law of sin. See, so this will be baptized with Yahweh Shai. You know, to solve the law of Yahweh, right? And to solve the law of the flesh, which is sin, we this dead, right? Galatians chapter 5 reading from verse 16 it says here this I say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill lust of the flesh verse 17 for the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and these are contrary one to another so that ye cannot do the things that ye would but if ye are led by the spirit ye are not under the law right mm, you're not under the law you're not, you're not serving the psalm you know the flesh right well, let me get this <laughs> let me get this uh, piece of the clear this up because I don't want you to be thinking that we're not supposed to um you know live by the law of Yahweh Bashem Yashai right Romans chapter 7 verse 7 it says what shall we say then is the law sin Yahweh forbid nay I have not known sin but by the law see but by the law for I had not known loss except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet. God, the law had guided us. You know? See, verse 12 it says, Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandments holy, and just, and good. Right? It's Romans chapter 3, verse 20. It says, Therefore, by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight for by the law is the knowledge of sin <laughs> see right so there's two laws there's one by the flesh right that we do things to that, 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 that we do things for sin and and there's another law which of Yahweh Hashem Yerushai we do things unto him you know that's pleasing you know it's first John chap, chapter 3 verse 4 it says whosoever commits sin transgresseth also the law for sin is the transgression of the law right Romans 8 reading from verse 5 it says for they that are after the flesh don't mind the thing of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, 
the things of the spirit for to be carnal minded is death but to be spiritual minded is life and peace because the carnal minded is enmity against Yahweh for it is not subjected to the law of Yahweh neither indeed can be so then they that are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh right you cannot please you how because yeah because they're not baptized you know into the death of your that's basically it too right because if you have your shy you know you you would please you have a you know you would please please the most high you know this is John chapter 9 and verse 31 it says now we know that Yahweh heareth not sinners but if any man be a worshipper of Yahweh and doeth his will him he hear Yahweh <laughs> right? hearing not sinners you know you gotta be Baptized into the death of Yahweh Shai. <laughs> this is Roman chapter 6, right? Now we're reading from verse 5. We're back on Romans chapter 6. It says, For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. <laughs> Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him right this is the old ways the flesh right with saying that let me let me get this um piece of quick in the book of colossians chapter 3 reading from verse 5 it says Mortify, therefore, your members, right? Mortify means to slay or to put to death, right? You know, therefore, your member which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil um, copiscence, concupiscence, like yeah, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things. Say the wrath of Yahweh cometh upon the children of disobedience, in which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them, right? You used to live in them, right? Those the ones that are you know baptized into the death of Yahweh Shai. You used to live in them. Right? Now we serve the law of Yahweh. Right? So going back Romans. Chapter 6, you know, he had verse 6, he says, Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin, right? For he that is dead is freed from sin. Right? He that is dead to what? Dead to sin. You know? So, um, to get another precept, going back, uh, uh, yeah, Colossians chapter 2, reading from verse 20. It says, Wherefore, if ye be dead, with Amashiach from the rudiment of the world. Why as thou living, why as thou living in the world are ye subjected to ordinance? Touch not, taste not, handle not. Right? Which all it's like a which all are to perish with the using after the commandments and doctrine of men. Right? So we dead, we be dead from this thing. The commandments of men is of the flesh. You know? 
right because um yeah what should i did say this it says verse 7 right mark chapter 7 verse 7 so how be it in vain do ye worship me teaching doctrine the commandments of men for laying aside the commandments of yahweh ye hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things ye do right like if this is righteousness this thing this thing gonna profit me all these things will lead back to um sin because you're making up your own law not to transgress your own law but not the law of your how about shame your shy right yeah, this colossians 2 2 reading back from verse 22 it says which are which all are the which all are to perish with the using right after the commandments and doctrine of men right so come on verse 23 which things have indeed a show of wisdom in will worship right and humility and neglecting of the body but in any honor to the satisfaction any honor to the satisfaction of the flesh right this thing is to the satisfaction of the flesh you know a precept this is John 6 verse 63 see it is the spirit that quicken it the flesh profited nothing the words that I speak unto you they are spirit and they are life right <laughs> so John 4 reading from verse 23 it says but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the father in spirit and in truth for the father seeketh such to worship him verse 24 Yahweh is the spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth right this is not the um, worshiping you know of, of 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 the flesh you know we don't feed his flesh right you know we don't feed feed this flesh verse um, this is Romans 6 verse 8 read now verse 8 it says now if we be dead with Amashiach we believe that we shall also live with him it says verse 9 knowing that Amashiach being raised from the dead diet no more death hath no more dominion over him for in that he died he he died unto sin once but in but in that he liveth he liveth unto Yahweh right so this video was clear you know you know and edifying right name Yahweh yeah we baptize into the um, into the death of Yahweh Shai right Please no more this flesh, you know. With that one, say Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa Basham Yoshai. Shawa.